Hello and welcome to episode 3 of our Coordination and Reactions Club with me, Mr Walder. Now today what we're going to be doing is I'm working on improving our footwork. Um, I'm going to give you 8 drills that are going to help improve how we coordinate with our feet. Um, and in turn that will help improve our foot speed, which will help us improve our performance in any sport that we play. Now all you need is six cones or, so or six soft markers that you have in your house, um, something like a sock that you can use as a marker. Now if you don't want to use any markers, that's absolutely fine. You can do these exercises without any equipment, just picking a start and a finish line and imagining about having these six boxes in front of you, which we will see from the video in a moment. Now remember, you can pause any of, you can pause this video at any point, practice the exercises before moving on, just so you've mastered it, and then you can move on to the next exercise. Master that and move on again. Now I'm going to start off really slow today, and then we're going to build on that pace so that you can practice on that speed as well. So get yourself ready, let's go. Hello and welcome to my eight exercises that are going to help improve your footwork and your foot speed. All I've done is that line my six markers, one step away from each other, not too big. There are little boxes that we're going to put our feet into during these different exercises. Now, start nice and easy. Keep it nice and slow. Make sure you get the right technique in each exercise. Once you think you've mastered it, then I want you to attack it and see if you can go as fast as you can. But I'm going to go through each exercise nice and slowly. Right, exercise number one, really, really simple. We're going to be two feet together, using our arms as well. And we've got to keep our arms coordinated, use them all the time. We're going to jump, staying on our toes, over each cone. Over we go. Ready? Just there, nice and simple. There, and back again. Two foot. You can all get that. Once you get, once, try and do it as quick as you possibly can after that. Okay, exercise number two. We're going to start with in and out. Now we're going to jump forward, then we go wide. In, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. Okay, bending those knees. Let's go that again. A bit quicker now. In, stand on those toes. Up in, as quickly as you can. Excellent. So that's the in and out again. Once you've got that, try and attack it. Go nice and quick. Keep it up there and back again. Uh, exercise number three is going to be hopscotch. Now the hopscotch going to do, it's a very similar, except we're going to jump forward on one leg, then go wide with the two, and then I'm going to go forward with my opposite leg, go left, there, right, out, left, out, right, out, okay, nice and slow again, again, so I'm going right, out, left, out, right, out, left, out, out, again, once you get that, I want to see you going nice and quick, as fast as you possibly can, you must get the right technique first. Exercise number four, okay, so we're going to start with getting two feet in each box as fast as we possibly can, okay, and we're going to be going, not we're running, going to opposite arms to our opposite legs, moving it nice and quick, keeping it coordinated with the rest of our body, okay, so again, when you're ready, there you go, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, okay, see, so I've got both feet going in there every time, Just that again, one, two, one, two, one, two. Staying on my toes, my heels aren't going down, I'm not wobbling. Okay, once you understand that, go for it. Go nice and quick, try and improve on that foot speed. Exercise number five, okay, we have got the crossover. Okay, so again, it's quite similar. So I'm, I'm going to go one step, I'm now side on, and I'm going to go side and step. Oh, hang on, let me do that. We're going to go crossover step, crossover step, crossover step. So we're crossing over first. So cross step, cross step, cross step, cross step, cross step, cross step. Improving that speed. If you face the same way both times, you will go left foot on one side, then change it with your right foot on the other. So that is the cross over. Okay, one more time. Going across nice and quick. Staying on your toes, then right the other way, going back. Six. This one, very similar, nice and simple. So we're just going to be doing it sideways, two steps in between each section again. So again, my toes, my feet, going opposite to opposite. Okay, one, two, 
Quicker, staying a bit lower. One, two, one, two, excellent. Okay, on to the next exercise. Icky feet. Don't know why it calls call this one, but now it's similar to the one that we had to put two foot going forward. What we're going to do this time is we're going to put two feet in, and then we're going to go step out to the side, back in. One, two, other side, back in. One, two, other side. One. Two, cross, one, two, cross. Do it nice and slowly again for you. So it goes forward. One, two, middle, outside, back in. One, two, outside, back in. One, two, outside. One, two, outside. One, two, outside. Now that's sped up. You look a little bit like this. So you go, one, two, wide, one, two, wide, one, two, wide, one, two, wide, one, two, wide. And back again. One, two, wide, one, two, wide, one, two, wide, one, two, wide, one, two, wide. Okay, last one. This one, we're going to do, we're going to start again, side back on, side on. We're going to put two feet behind, two feet forward, across. But you're then going to go back the other way, so forward, back. So we're going like a little, that all the way across, two feet every time, two steps. Let me do that again for you. So we're going one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Cross one, two, forward one, two, cross one, two, 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 one, two. Now if I speed that up, it's going to be one, two, one, two. Now I didn't really use my arms there. Remember, we've got to try and use our arms in as well. I'm trying to keep it to the opposite. So it goes. Uh, and I'm starting there. So. Okay, trying to put two in front, cross, two behind, across. Two in front, cross, two behind, across. Now, go through those nice and slowly. Take it one at a time, get the technique. Once you think you've got the techniques for all of those different exercises, I want to see this pet, you attacking this with a bit of pace. Because that's what we're here to do. We're here to improve the speed of our feet. What I want you to do is I want you to do these exercises. If you go, uh, we'll do a round of four. So if you can do this lap four times, doing each exercise, that would be a really, really big improvement to that foot speed. Okay, and how we can coordinate from our head to our feet. It does take time. It does take a lot of thinking, but it does have huge benefits to how you how you get around the court and how you move. All right, I hope you enjoyed that and good luck. Well done, I hope you enjoyed those exercises. Like I said, I can try and do each exercise four times, um, then move on to the next one. If you want to, you can start to record your time, see how you do um, those, that each exercise four times, uh, see what your time is and see if you can beat it each time. Then you move on to the next size, exercise and do the same. Thing. see if you start to see some improvement over time sticking with our footwork we're now going to move on to some different exercises we're going to look at some agility exercises which is using our body using our footwork to at speed to try and move nice and quickly coordinating our body at speed so have a look at these two exercises and let me know how you get on i hope you enjoy them hello i have an agility test here for you this game is called the t junction Agility is going to be how we coordinate our bodily movements at speed. Okay, so for this, what we need are four um, cones or any items that you have at home that you can use as markers and a stopwatch. Try and use a parent's phone or something like that, and you can hopefully record your score, record your progress, and see how if you can improve on your scores as the time goes on. Now, what I've done is I've picked my starting space, which is back here, which is the base. Of the T. What we need to do is try and take 10 steps, or roughly 10 steps, out and put another marker down. Okay, you're then going to go five steps to your left, five steps to your right, placing down those two markers. This is now set up for the T junction agility test. 
Now, what you're going to do is you've got to try and run as fast as you can from your starting spot. So, I would press start. I'm going to do it right now. I'm just going to walk you through it first. If I start on my stopwatch, then I'm going to sprint as fast as I can to the first cone, which I'm going to touch. I am then going to side shuffle to the left cone, which I'm going to touch with my left hand. I then need to side shuffle, clipping my feet together, all the way to the side, touching with my right hand, back to the middle, touching, and I'm then going over my shoulder, back to my start cone, where I'm going to touch the cone, or I'm going to touch my stopwatch, where I'm going to get going. Okay? What I'd like you to do is if you pause now your video, you can try and set this up and give it a go for yourself. If you want to, you can try and do it with me now and see if you can beat my score. Okay? So I'm going to set up my target. My timer is off. Let's see if I hit it. Okay. Are you ready? So I'm going forwards, left, right. I must touch the cone. I must clip my feet together. Not stepping over. That's your target, see how you get on, let me know. Good luck. Hello, I've got another test for you. This is an agility test called the three cone drill. Again, this is testing our coordination at speed, how we control our bodily movements at pace. Okay, so as the name suggests, all you need is three cones and we're gonna get, need a stopwatch as well, just so we can record our timings, see if we can improve over time. Now, very similar to a previous drill, the T drill that we've done. We need a starting spot. I'm going to take 10 steps out. So we've got marker number one, 10 steps out, or roughly 10 steps, cone number two. I'm going to put that down. I'm going to take five steps over to my left and put cone down cone number three. Okay, I've got another cone over there, but we're going to do the reverse later on to the right. We can forget that. Now, pay attention to this track. Okay, it's nice and quick, this one. So I've got cone number one, two, and three. I'm gonna start off at cone number one. When we get our starter and we say go, I'm gonna sprint as fast as I can straight up to cone number two. I'm gonna to touch it with my hand, reverse, go straight back to cone number one. Again, touching it, and then change my direction again. You'll see that bend of the knees pushing off in the other direction. This time, I don't need to touch the cone. But I'm going to try and go around it. Don't want to see anyone cutting any corners. You can't go this way. You must go around your cone. We're then going to go reverse around cone number three. So we're going to sort of loop around it. Again, bending those knees, changing direction quickly. Around cone number two again, all the way back to our start line. Okay, hopefully you'll understand that. So we're going to go from one to two, back to one, and then we're looping around two, in and out of three, and then going around the cones back to our star shape. It's like a nice big L shape, okay? Let's see how we get on. I'm gonna do it, I'm, I'm gonna give it a good up go now. You wanna pause your video, set yours up, and then try and go against me. See how you get on, feel free. So let's just see how I get on. I've got my stuff, my stopwatch, ready to go. Change direction nice and quick. Back to my start and bosh. Oh, 12.2. Okay, not bad score there. Now, I want you to have a go now and then see if you can practice. Repeat it. Can you change direction a bit, little bit quicker? Bend those knees, pushing off. Good luck. Once you've done the L shape, just reverse it. Try and do it the opposite direction now. So, I'll tell you what. I'm going to do through it again now for you. I'm now going to go to the right side. Again, all I've done is just swap it to the right hand side. 
10 steps up, five to the right. Let's give it another go. Let's see if I can beat my time, just go in the opposite side. See if it makes any difference. Okay, ready, so up there, back, around, around, back to the start spot. Let's go. Ready, set, go. Up, bend, back, back, around, up, in, around, around, all the way back, and up. 11.9, slightly better, slightly better. Good luck, guys. Try your left side, try your right side. I hope you enjoy. Good luck.